a glass prism placed in homogeneous transparent medium will deviate a light ray towards the base away from the base towards the base only if the medium has refractive index smaller than glass towards base only if the refractive index has greater which one is correct if glass is kept in a medium such as air then it will bend the rays then only it will bend it towards base provided refractive index is smaller than air so normal behavior is only when surrounding medium is rarer and that material of the prism is denser so correct answer will be c otherwise it will show divergence second very important for board exam angle of minimum deviation for a prism is 30 angle of minimum deviation is 30 and angle of prism is 60 then what is refractive index whenever angle is minimum i can use prism formula by prism formula mu is sin a plus delta m upon 2 divided by sin a by 2 So sine of sixty plus thirty upon two divided by sine sixty upon two. Sine of sixty plus thirty is sine ninety. Sine ninety upon two is sine forty-five divided by sine thirty. So one upon root two divided by sine thirty is half. One by root two into two upon one equals to root two. Refractive index root two option. Completed second one. Yes. So, refractive index of an equilateral prism. Equilateral prism means its angle is sixty degree. Refractive index is root three. Minimum deviation v one. Refractive index formula is mu sine a plus Delta m upon two divided by sine of a by two. So mu is root three sine of a sixty plus delta m divided by two sine of sixty upon two. So root three into sine thirty is sine of sixty plus delta m upon two. So root three by two. Is sine of sixty plus delta m upon two. Sine inverse root three by two is sixty plus delta m upon two. Sine inverse root three by two is for which angle? Sixty degree. Hello. Yes, sir. So we get one twenty is sixty plus delta m. Sixty equals to delta m. Delta M sixty. One to fifteen numerical solved one is homework for you.
सम नंबर फोर्थ आई वांट यू ऑल शुड ट्राई दिस रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इज रूट टू रिफ्रैक्टिंग एंगल 60 एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस ऑफ लाइट सफरिंग मिनिमम डेविएशन एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस वी वांट अ लाइट इज सफरिंग मिनिमम डेविएशन 1 मिनट वेट if light suffers minimum deviation you want angle of incidence of light ray suffering minimum deviation so if light suffers minimum deviation then what we know about relations A plus delta m upon two is nothing but I, correct? Hello. A plus delta m upon two is I, na? At minimum deviation. Are you remembering yes. this? Now, what is mu? Mu is sine of A plus delta m upon two is I upon sine. A by two, so root two is sine i upon sine of sine i upon sine of sixty by two. So sine i is root two. Sine sixty by two is nothing but sine thirty. Sine thirty is half. So we get one upon root two. Therefore, i will become forty five degree. Understood? Yes. Yes. the angle of minimum deviation produced by prism of refractive index 1.5 is equal to angle of prism then what is angle of prism if cos 41 degree is 0.75 this is sin of a plus delta m upon 2 Divide by sine of a by two. So one point five equals to sine of a. We want to find a. Delta m is also a. Divide by two. Sine a by two. Again important sum. Sine of two a upon two is sine a. Divide by sine a by two. So one point five equals. To Sine a, can you write in terms of sine a by two? What is sine two a formula? Sine a cos. Yes. So similarly, sine a will be two sine a upon two cos a upon two divided by sine a by two sine a by two sine a by two cancel. So point. Seven five is cos a by two. So cos inverse of point seven five is a upon two. Cos inverse of point seven five. Can I write forty one degree from here? Yes. Equals to a by two. So a will become eighty two degree. Option B. 
is it to be? Refractive index of glass prism depends upon refractive index of glass prism depends upon refractive index of glass prism is a plus delta m upon two divided by sine a by two for minimum deviation. So it depends upon angle of prism. Yes. Deviation of light ray. Refractive index of material depends upon what? Angle of prism, angle of deviation, color of incident light, incident, intensity of incident light. Intensity, but it doesn't depend on. Refractive index of material will never depend upon prism ka angle. Because if I have a glass prism, angle 30 degree, refractive index is 1.5. Then by making it 10 degree, it can't change. What will change is this total delta m will change. So it does not depend upon angle. It depends upon material. Material depends upon wavelength. The answer will be color of incident. See it. General definition of Refractive index of glass with respect to air is lambda air upon lambda glass or velocity in air upon velocity in glass. So it is dependent on wavelength. Wavelength is depending on color. This is the answer. Common mistake will write depend upon it. Have you followed? Hello? Hello? See, formula of sin i sin r can be written like this. That doesn't mean that mu is depending on i. i will depend upon you. r will depend upon you. And mu will depend upon wavelength. Yes, sir. Important. Theoretical is always difficult. Exam date has come. Only the 20 mark marks. A 20 marks test is on when? So I think 22nd May. On 22nd May, you are saying? Yes, sir. So your exam is starting from 22nd May? That's on, that's on 27th, I think. 20 marks, 14 and 16 chapter, correct? Na? Yes, sir. And only MCQ type? So they haven't said that yet. Okay. But we have done now 14, 16. I will just send you some paper tomorrow, 14 and 16th, two, three papers, 20, 20 mark type, so that you can practice it. Yes. 
in dispersion of white light by a prism only angular spread occurs no it is not only angular spread that is wrong only angular deviation occurs no both angular spread and angular deviation occurs both angular spread and angular deviation occurs means what it will deviate at different different angle and between the two there is some angle that is called angular spread so angular spread and angular deviation both occurs option c the dispersion of light in a medium implies that ray of different wavelength travel with different speed correct hai ray of different frequency travel with different speed ye bhi correct hai the refractive index of medium is different for different wavelength yes all are correct eight point when light wave travels through prism color which deviates least is which color deviates least red red will deviate least option d and the refractive index of glass is least for see delta is a mu minus 1 deviation of red is least so mu of red is least because they are here directly dependent so refractive index of glass is least for red color either by this method or mu and wavelength are inverse so lambda red is maximum therefore mu for red is minimum this way also you can take that means answer k 11 completed uh, uh, 90 yes the ratio of refractive index of prism material for red to the blue for red to blue now this is least so definitely this is greater than red so denominator is greater that means answer will be less than 1 less than 1 option a critical angle of light passing from glass to air is minimum for which color critical angle see refractive index is one upon sine of critical angle that is mean critical angle of light passing is minimum for which so it is minimum for that whose mu is maximum c is minimum for mu maximum mu for which color is maximum mu is maximum for minimum wavelength correct yes that means it will be violet color that is violet color option d Beta twelve. Yes. Okay. 
come to numerical section next page first sum a ray of light is incident on 60 degree prism of glass ray of light is incident on 60 degree prism of glass whose refractive index is 1.5 at an angle of 40 degree find the angle of emergence yes how to do Any idea for this one? A is given, mu is given, I is given. E we have to find. So do we find the delta M and then? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yes. So we find angle of refraction when mu is equal to sine upon sine r. Yes, we can use mu equals to. Sine i upon sine r, perfect. Then after this, then um, that means we'll get r after that. Then angle of incidence plus. No, no, no. Then for any prism, whether it gives minimum deviation or not, a is r one plus r two, na? Yes, sir. So we'll get r two from here, and then mu is sine e upon sine r. This will be the equation. Hello. Hello. Yes, This approach you followed what? This is the prism. Light enters from here. It will undergo the refraction. So this is R one and this is I. So mu is sine i upon sine r. Once you get r, you will get r two by using this relation. Then once you get r two, imagine light to be entering from other side. So this is E as I and this R. So can I write like this? 1.5 is sine 40 upon sine r1. So sine r1 is sine 40 upon 1.5. Once you get this, what is sine 40? Anybody studying log book? Sine 40. So one second. Zero point six four two. Zero point six four. Zero point six four two. Zero point six four two. I'll down the this one. One point five I can take three by two. So this will become two into zero point six four two upon three. Two and four. Two into four eight. Two into one two four zero point four two eight. So it will become R one is. Sine inverse of zero point four two eight. What is sine inverse zero point four two eight? Sine inverse zero point four two eight. That's coming twenty five point three. Twenty five point three. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, point three degree it is, na? Yes, sir. So A is sixty. R one is what? R one we got twenty five point three plus R two. Therefore, sixty minus twenty five point three equal to R two. So this will become point seven nine minus five is four five minus two is three equal to R two. Then mu is again one point five sine e upon Sine of thirty-four point seven degree. That is sine of e is one point five into sine thirty-four point seven. Please copy this one. Generally, such sum doesn't comes. They will give such 
values which you are ignoring. Otherwise, they will provide the value. Yes, done. Hello? Yes, okay. just, just understand the concept huh? because in exam they will give values mm. where you know. Shall I clear this now? Hello? Can I clear? No. Sure. Second. Angle of prism is 60 degree. And minimum deviation is 39. What is refractive? No, I'm not doing. This is very simple. Mu is sine A plus delta M upon 2 divided sine A by 2. Okay? Hello? Yes. Se second one I'm not doing. Third. Calculate refractive index of material. That is mu. Of equilateral triangle means A is 60 degrees. For which angle of minimum deviation is 60 this is also one for direct formula. Four. Refractive index of a prism of angle 60 degree is 1.62 for sodium light. Find the angle of minimum deviation. Sine of 54.1 degree they have given as 0.81. A is given, mu is given, delta m you have to find, this is also you can manage. Okay. Calculate angle of minimum deviation for glass prism whose angle is 60 degree and refractive angle is 1.658. What is the corresponding angle of incidence? What is corresponding angle of incidence? Hello? No. Why they have given answer as 52 and 56 two values? Well, I'm not sure. So do we have to use sine of A plus delta M by 2 is equal to sine of sine I? Calculate and yeah, with that we can get one answer. Yes. Sign calculate angle of minimum deviation for a glass prism of 50 degree. Refractive index is given. What is corresponding angle of incidence? So first we want angle of deviation, then we want I. So first case to the simple sign of A plus delta M upon 2 divided by sin A by. Once you get delta m, then I can say a plus delta m upon 2 is i, I will get i. Understood now? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Is it possible to do this now? Yes, sir. Then I am going to the next one. 
just write data and formula problem. A regular sixty degree glass prism, sixty degree glass prism, has refractive index of root two for a given wavelength. Calculate angle of minimum deviation. At what angle of incidence should a monochromatic light of this wavelength fall on a face of prism so as to get minimum deviation? That means indirectly want also angle of incidence. So same as previous one. First mu is sine. A plus delta m upon two divided by sine a by two. So root two is sine of a sixty plus delta m upon two divided by sixty by two. That is root two into sine thirty is half. Is sine of sixty plus delta m upon two. So this will become one by root two. That means forty-five degree is sixty plus delta m upon two. So ninety degrees sixty plus delta m. Thirty degree equals to delta m. Then since a plus delta m upon two is i, therefore i will be sixty plus thirty upon two. So I is forty-five. That means known value. See, we can do very easy. Two six one. One six one. Six done. Yes, sir. So. What should be the refracting angle of prism? What should be the refracting angle of prism? Refracting angle of prism is A. If its refractive index is 1.5, so that light ray incident on prism at an angle of 50 degrees suffers minimum deviation. Okay. So mu is equal to Sine of a plus delta m upon two divided by sine a by two. This is nothing but i upon sine a by two. So therefore, mu is sine uh, mu is given one point five. One point five is sine of fifty degree upon sine a by two. Sine a by two is equal to sine fifty upon one point five is three by two. What is sine fifty? Zero point seven six six. Zero point seven six six. So this will become two times zero point seven six six zero upon. That is nothing but zero two. Three two into seven fourteen and fifteen upon three. So zero point five one zero three six eighteen recurring so seven five one zero seven sine inverse of this point one five zero seven sine inverse.
It will be greater than 30, na? Hello? Will it be greater than 30? Yes, sir. 30.7. A will become 2 into 7, 14, 1, which is a 61.4. 8. Angle of glass prism is 59.5 degree. The angle of minimum deviation is 38.5 degree. Without using value of refractive index of the glass, calculate angle of incidence. So for minimum deviation, we know angle of incidence is A plus delta M upon 2. That is 59.5 plus 38.5 upon 2 equals to 5 and 5. Ten. 8 and 9, 17, 118, 98 upon 2 equals to 49. A glass prism whose refracting angle is 72 degree and refractive index is 1.66 is kept in a liquid of refractive index. This is glass liquid. 1.33. Calculate angle of minimum deviation for parallel beam passing through the prism. If sine of 36 degree is given 0.5878 and sine of 47.2 degrees is given 0.7. Our last prism whose refractive index is 72, refractive index 1.6, liquid is as much red time you have to calculate. So, refractive index of glass with respect to liquid will become sine of A plus delta m upon 2 divided by sine theta. This is refractive index of glass upon liquid is sine 72 plus delta m upon 2 divided by sine of 72 upon 2. So 1.66 upon 1.33 sine of 72 plus delta m divided by 2 upon sine of 36. So sine of 71 plus delta m upon 2 is 1.66 upon 1.33 into 0 0.587. Then you can simplify this afterwards. No?
So mostly board exam they give easy sums. A parallel beam of light is incident on face of 60 degree prism. That means this is parallel beam of light. It is incident on 60 degree prism. This time. A equals to 60 degree. By rotating the prism, the minimum angle of deviation is measured to be 40 degree. Find the refractive index of the material. If prism is placed in water, find the refractive index of material. If the prism is placed in water of refractive index 1.33, then new angle of minimum deviation will be out. New deviation will be out. First is 40. So, mu of glass is sine of A plus delta first upon 2 divided by sine of A by 2. So, sine 60 plus 40 upon 2 divided by sine of A 60 upon 2 that is sine of 50 upon sine of 30 sine 50 is 0 0.7660 just now we told me sine 30 is half so this goes up 2 into 0 0.7660 Therefore, it becomes 0, 2 into 6, 12, 12, 1, 13, 14, and 1, 15. So, approximately 1.5. 1.5. Then, refractive index of glass with respect to liquid is sine of A plus delta M2 divided by 2, sine of A by 2. Okay. This you can manage afterwards now. Will become a um, refractive index of glass upon water. Right? Ah, correct, correct. It will become mu g upon mu n. Mu g, up, uh, this is water actually. Mu g upon mu water. Then same process. Ray of light incident at 50 degree on 60 degree prism suffers minimum deviation. Find the angle of minimum deviation and refractive index of And the reflector in the sun. So to get delta, I can directly write a minimum deviation a plus delta m equals to 1. 60 plus delta m upon 2 is 50. Delta m will be 100 minus 60. Delta m equals to 40. 
The refracting angle of a glass prism of refractive index 1.45. Refracting angle of glass prism of refractive index 1.45 is 60 degree. At what angle should a ray of light be incident on first phase so that it emerge out on second phase just parallel to the phase? This means light is incident, then it becomes parallel to this phase. So that means E is zero there. If E is zero means there is no refraction on this end. At what angle should the ray of light be incident on first phase so that it emerges out from second phase parallel to this? A given, mu given, is your ninety about Mr. Gatos. From mu and A. I is given. We are interested in what is I. If here it gets incident, uh, okay. when it comes parallel. So can I say for second surface? Think and proper. For second surface, if I use mu, I will get R2. If I get R2, I will get R1. If I get R1, I will get I. Okay. Yes. So for second surface mu is sine E upon sine R2. Therefore, sine R2 is sine 90 upon mu is 1.45. So it will become sine R2 is 1 upon 1.45. That is sine R2 equals to 100 upon 1.45. 5 into 20, 5 into 2 is 10, 5 into 9 is 45. Therefore, sine R2 equals to 20 upon 29. 20 upon 29. Do 
डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी नाइन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट नाइन सिक्स सो आर टू इज साइन इनवर्स ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट नाइन सिक्स फॉर आर टू व्हाट विल बी द साइन सिक्स एट नाइन सिक्स हाँ मन फोर Nine minus three is six. This will be one. Five minus four is sixteen point four. स्टेट पॉइंट पर कौन सी वीडियो बंद कर दो बेटा स्क्रीन पॉइंट पॉइंट नाउ आई थिंक कैन मैनेज ना आफ्टर दिस For second surface, you are knowing E, you are knowing mu. So I got first R two. After getting R two, then A is R one plus R two, and then mu for first surface is what we did. The first part, second part, third part, fourth part, and then finally this is fifth part. Thin prism. Thin prism means we can use this formula. Delta is a into mu minus one. For thin prism, refracting angle of ten degree produces deviation of five degree. Find the refractive index of material and velocity of light in that material. Delta is five. A is ten. Mu minus one. So five upon ten is mu minus one. Point five is mu minus one. Mu equals to one point five. Then mu is velocity in air upon velocity in medium. So mu velocity in medium is v in air, which is three into ten raised to eight upon one point five. Two into ten raised to eight meter per second. Okay.
thin prism of glass placed in air gives deviation of 4 degree in light weight. If prism is placed in water, what will be new deviation? New deviation if placed in water. Refractive index of glass with respect to air 3 by 2. Water with respect to air is 4 by 2. Placed in air deviation is given. Placed in water deviation we want. So delta when air is mu of glass with respect to air a into this minus 1. And delta 2 a will remain same. Mu of glass with respect to water minus 1. So delta 1 upon delta 2 mu g that means same as ng minus 1 upon ng upon n water minus 1. So 4 upon delta 2 is 3 by 2 minus 1. This is 3 by 2 upon 4 by 3 minus 1. 4 upon delta 2 is half upon 9 by 8 minus 1. So 4 upon delta 2 equals to half into 1 by 8. So 4 upon delta 2 is 1 by 2 into 8 by 1. 4 upon delta 2 is 4 by 1. Therefore delta 2 is 1. Calculate angular dispersion. Calculate angular dispersion of ten degree prism. Ten degree prism. Calculate its angular dispersion. If reflective index for violet and red. Reflective index for violet and red are 1.66 and 1.64. Angular dispersion is given by D equals to A mu violet minus mu R. A is 10, 1.66 minus 1.64. So 10 into 0 0.03. That is equal to 0 0.23. So 15.
yes. One second, Joe, one second. Find the angular dispersion between red and blue rays. The refracting angle is 6 degree. Refractive indices of clean glass for red and blue are 1.644 and 1.664 respectively. Angular dispersion D is A into mu blue minus mu red. So the 6 into 1.664 minus 1.644. So 6 into 0, 2, 0, 0. That is 0 0.12. The refracted indices for violet, yellow, and red are 1.632, 1 1.620, 1 1.613. Find the dispersive power of glass. Dispersive power is mu v minus mu r upon mu yellow minus one. So 1.632 minus 1.620 upon 1.622. This is 1.620 minus 1. 2 minus 12 minus 3 is 9. 2 minus 1 will be 1. 2 minus 1, 1. 0, 0 upon 0 0.620. 0. That means 0 0.019 upon 0 0.62. Upon 0 0.62. Divided by 0 0.62. Zero point zero three one. Zero point zero three one. It is coming. Zero point zero one nine divided by zero point six two. Zero point three zero six. This is zero point zero three zero six.
try it in delta is given now Doctor, you use a formula only, no? A direct formula. Delta of violet, delta of yellow, delta of red given, calculate dispersive power. Dispersive power is angular dispersion upon mean deviation, that is delta 1. Put all the values. Zero point two seven three eight. Zero point two. Final answer zero point two seven three eight. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Calculate dispersive power of transparent material. Of the violet given reflective index, red they have given, yellow they have given. 1.55, red is 1.54, violet is 1.56. So this is nothing but n violet minus n red upon n y minus 2. Again, put the values directly, you get the answer. The refractive indices of a material for red, violet, yellow are given. Calculate dispersive power. Calculate dispersive power. If mean deviation is for if the delta mean deviation is 40, what will be the angular dispersion? So first part is simple. Dispersive power omega 1 in terms of refractive index n boiler minus n r upon n yellow minus 1. 1.62 minus 1.52 upon 1.59 minus. So 0 0.10 upon 0 0.59. Just try the this. That's omega 2 is angular dispersion upon mean elevation. Okay, 
don't want dispersive power in the second case. If mean deviation is 40, what is angular dispersion there? First part, copy. First part. Yes, sir. What is angular dispersion at mean deviation? What is omega or dispersive power in terms of this is also called as angular dispersion to mean deviation power. Yes. Angular dispersion to mean deviation is basic definition of dispersive power. So we got dispersive power is 0 0.169 angular dispersion we want mean deviation they have given 40 so 0 0.169 into 40 that is 0 0.169 1.69 into 4 4 into 9 36 4 6 at 24 and 3 27 4 into 6 this many Next class, first I will discuss the paper. Hello? Yes. So next class, first we will discuss that 25 MCQs, whichever is wrong or you are not able to solve, and then we will proceed. Sunday test will be on chapter number 14 and 16 together, as per your college exam pattern. 20 MCQs. Or 21. So today we stop here, Wednesday, same time.